Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment, and today I've got the seven cubic foot John Deere poly cart here. I'm gonna be unboxing this, showing you how to fully assemble it, and then also at the end showing you what it looks like on the back of one of these John Deere lawn mowers. So if you'll stick with me here, we'll get started. First, we'll go ahead and open this up. There is going to be some assembly required so good thing is everything's going to come very well packaged guys everything is actually going to fit in the cart itself here so you are going to have a hardware kit here nice thing about this everything labeled everything in its individual package so very easy to see everything there next we're going to have our draw bar and our axle then here we'll have another bag. In this bag here, guys, is going to be our clevis for the draw bar, and then also our latch bracket. So this will be our latch bracket that'll mount underneath, as this will be a dump cart as well. We'll have a spring there for our dump action. There's gonna be our clevis for our draw bar and then also our latch lever. Next, we're gonna have our two wheel and tire assemblies. Now these are pneumatic tires, so you are gonna wanna air these up, guys, uh, as we know that with these carts, you know, maybe we're carrying such things as loads of dirt. Uh, maybe we're carrying those five gallon buckets full of maybe fertilizer or plants or whatever those things are, firewood. Um, so you may be putting quite a bit of weight in here. So the nice thing is you do have those pneumatic tires. Next we'll have our instruction manual and operator manual. And last but not least, we have our base here. This is going to mount underneath and also be where our axle rides. Now let's talk about tools that we're going to need to do this assembly. First guys, you're going to need a set of pliers. Um, these are going to come in handy whenever we're putting those snap rings on the end of our wheel assemblies. So you will need a set of pliers. Also, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. And the reason for that is, is that almost all of these bolts here are going to be the flathead style here they're also rounded that way for the bolts that are going to be mounting into the cart that mount to our base and our latch bracket those are going to be rounded off that way they're not hindering any flow whenever you're going to dump this cart so you will need that you're also going to want to have your ratchet with half inch socket as that's going to be the size for the nuts for all of those bolts you're also going to want to have a 9 16 socket here and also your 9 16 wrench for whenever you go on with this larger bolt here that's actually going to mount into the draw bar for your spring mechanism now one really neat thing about this hardware kit that i want to point out is that all of the different hardware pieces that you have <clears throat> are individually packaged in separate panels for those different steps to the assembly process so the first thing that we're going to do here is actually mount our base here for our axle. So all of those parts are here in this top panel. So we've got all of our bolts, our nuts, and our washers here separated in this top panel. Then next, we're gonna move on and attach our latch bracket, which are down next into the second panel. Then once we move to the draw bar, so on and so forth. So really neat the way they laid this out, really helpful for whenever you're going to put this cart together. So we'll go ahead and get started. And like I said, we're gonna start with mounting our wheelbase here to the cart itself. All right, so I've got all my hardware laid out here for this first step, like I said, mounting this base to the bottom of our cart. Now, first thing I point out, is if you look here on the bottom of the cart, we're gonna have these eight holes here towards the back of the cart. This is where that base is gonna mount. And you'll notice there are two holes here more towards the front, and this is where our latch bracket will mount next. So we're gonna start with one of these, getting one started here, and then we'll do the rest. So we'll start with one of our bolts here, and then we're gonna go on with a flat washer. We're gonna go ahead and run that through the first hole here, just like that. Next, we'll go ahead and take our bracket here, get it lined up, 
and start in that first bolt like that there. And then next, once we have that bolt started, <clears throat> we'll take one of our lock washers, go on with that, and then let's go ahead and start one of our nuts here. And then we'll just go ahead and do that for all eight holes there. And then our bracket will be mounted for our base. All right, so when we're going on with our latch bracket, we'll notice here that at the bottom, we do have a notch and you need to make sure that that is facing the front of your cart. So here, not at the sloped end, but here at the end, it's gonna be towards the mower. So we need to make sure that it is facing this direction. Now, once again, we've moved down to that second panel in our hardware kit. So now what we're gonna have is our two bolts. We've got two larger flat washers two smaller flat washers, then we've got two lock washers and our two nuts. So whenever we're going on with these, we're gonna start with our two small flat washers and go on to our bolts there. Then we'll go on with our two larger flat washers. We'll go on with our bracket and make sure that we've got it facing the right direction. We'll go through just like that. Then we'll go ahead and get our nut and lock washer started here. Now, one thing that you'll notice about the holes on this bracket is they're slotted, so we do have room to go forward and backward. So once we have this mounted, maybe we start right there in the middle, but then once we have our drawbar on, then we can see if we need to adjust this forward or backward to make sure that latching mechanism is working properly. So we'll start there by just getting those finger tight and now we'll go ahead and start getting our draw bar set up. So next here, we're gonna get our draw bar assembled. So here at the draw bar, we're gonna flip this over. That way we can go ahead and install our spring and our latching lever here. So we'll turn that over and then down in that next panel, what you should have had hardware wise is this long bolt here and then a locking nut and then two of these nuts here with the star edges. Now these are gonna act as a locking mechanism up against the latching lever once we get it installed. So we're gonna start by taking this bolt, running it through one side. Once we run that in, we're going to start one of our nuts with that star side. All right, and once we've got that started on, next thing we're gonna do is go on with our latching lever. Now, once again, guys, you can see here, we've got that slotted hole, so we may need some adjustment up and down, but we'll do that once we get the draw bar onto the cart. Now, you'll see this slot here in the draw bar. Where, this is where we're gonna go in with our latch. We need to make sure, though, that our lever is facing forward towards the front of that draw bar. So we'll run that through, and then from here, we'll go ahead and tighten up on our bolt and nut here. Now, while we're here also, we're gonna wanna make sure and get our spring ran through as well. So that spring will sit just like this with our lever. You want it in between the spring there where it's going to catch. And then also our bolt needs to make sure and run through both, both the spring and the lever. Now, while you're doing this, it's a good idea to go ahead and get one of those wheels and tires put underneath on the front of this draw bar as you're going to need this latch to go through, but you're also going to need it to stay somewhat upright here. Maybe a good idea to go ahead and grab both of those. That way you can get that high enough off the ground or off the table that you're working on. So now that we've got that up and out of the way, now what we're doing is we're working this bolt through the lever and through the spring at the same time. So we'll get our spring sat down on just like that. Actually, we're going to run it inside of the draw bar there. Now we're running that bolt through both of those sides. And then once we get that ran through enough that it's poking out on the other side, we're going to start our next nut 
with that star edge. Now you've got to work these nuts back and forth. We're working them one towards the middle and then one back down the bolt here until we can get our bolt ran through this hole here on the outside of our draw bar. So it's a little bit of a process sometimes. But this is important as this is going to be your latching function. Now the other part to this is, is that you're going to want to put these springs up on top of this rail here and then you have to get those nuts worked down to where we can finally get our last outer nut onto the side. We also want our latch here to be straight. All right, so now that we've got our bolt pushed all the way through, we can start our outside nut here and we can go ahead and tighten that down. That way everything stays in place. All right, so once we're tightened up there, we have our lat latching mechanism here ready to go, but we just wanna make sure that we're keeping that latch in place and then also that spring in place. So we can tighten up on these nuts here in the middle just to make sure we get that to where it's staying in place. Ideally, you want these to be riding on that latch lever. So you're gonna have to work that spring just a little bit, get things moved around. And then once you have those adjusted to where you want them, next thing we're gonna do is pull up here on our spring ends and they're actually going to ride here on the bottom. That's just gonna give us a lot stiffer latching mechanism and make sure that that's staying in place. Now, next here on the draw bar is going to be installing our clevis here, and it's going to install just like this, right on top. That way we have a clevis here for our pin to run through. So how we're gonna go about that is we'll actually flip the draw bar over here again. We've got that next panel of parts, which is going to have two bolts, two nuts, two lock washers, and then also our clevis pin and spring pin. So to attach that, we'll go ahead and go on with one of our bolts here and then go in to our draw bar just like that. Then we'll go on with one lock washer and on with one nut. Go ahead and get that started to keep that in place. And then we'll just repeat that for the front here. Go in with one bolt, on with our lock washer, and on with our nut. And we'll just go back here with our half inch and our flathead screwdriver and tighten these guys up. And then while we're here, we'll go ahead and go in with our hitch pin here. We'll just run that through and then go on with our keeper. Last but not least guys, time to install our draw bar and our axle onto the machine. So we'll go ahead and set our draw bar down here into place. Now, as you notice on in the draw bar here, we've got a spot where it's going to rest on that latch bracket. We can actually latch that down into place to hold it steady. Now, next we're going to take our axle We'll start on one end here, run this through our base, line it up with our draw bar here on both ends. And then just to continue to run that through. Now, now that we have that in place, we're just gonna wanna find that sweet spot again here on 
our latch bracket, find what works really good there. Looks like here. Now, whenever you close that down, it kind of put it in the position where it wants it, which looks like about halfway on the slide position. So we'll just make sure that whenever we tighten this up, we've got those right there halfway in both of those slides on our latch bracket here. So now guys, we'll go ahead and put on our wheels and tires. That's where our nylon washers and our spring clips here are gonna come into play. So we'll start here on the side closest to you so you can see. We're gonna start here by going on with one of our nylon washers. Go ahead and pull that axle out a little bit to give yourself some room. Then we're gonna go on with our tires. Now guys, I went ahead and put air in these. They do have a max PSI of 30. So I've got those aired up and ready to go. So we're just going to simply slide that onto the axle and then we'll go on here with our next nylon washer. And then we'll take our spring clip here, open up our pliers, get that sat down and on. And then going from the outside here, grab onto that and just click it down into place just like that. We just wanna make sure that it's riding down in the grooves all the way till it clicks just like that. And then we can push our axle in. That'll give us room there on the other side to install our other wheel. All right, and then last but not least, we'll go ahead and flip this up on its side. And we will get our latch bracket here tightened down as our final step in setting up this cart. All right, guys, so there you have a fully assembled cart. Now let's go ahead and pull the mower around, try it out. All right, guys, so last thing we need to check here now that we've got the cart onto the mower is just making sure that our latching mechanism is working properly. So what you're looking for is that whenever you do close it down, that it does latch into place. And we also wanna give it just a little bit of a pull test, you know, trying to simulate if we had weight there at the rear of the cart, making sure that that latch isn't going to come loose. So looks like we're all good to go here, guys. And that is it. That's all it takes to assemble the seven cubic foot John Deere poly cart. Guys, this is a great attachment to have for your mower. It's so versatile. We can use it for so many different things, whether it be firewood or moving loads of dirt, moving loads of gravel, maybe just loading up our gardening tools or our lawn tools. You know, maybe we're gonna throw in that weed eater in the back, whatever those different things are, guys, just a very, great attachment to have for this mower. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this helped you out. And if it did, we just ask that you please hit that like button and also subscribe as that helps us out as well. If you have any other questions or comments or you feel like I left anything out, make sure to leave those in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back with you. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.